What is up guys, Joe Snow right here and well, what a great year was 2016. I really hope everybody watching this video will have a great new year and 2017 will bring you everything you want. Right, so in this video we're going to discuss about Prometheus again. A new version was released that fixes the segmentation fault issue. We talked about the segmentation fault issue in my video that I made um, yesterday, uh, 20 hours ago. And I told you here to save your 10.2 SH SH bloops because they are important. If you didn't see this video, go ahead, watch it now. This will be a very short video because I don't want to hold you from doing whatever it's related to the Happy New Year things. But I really want to inform you about the new version. As you can see, going to uh, Tim Star, the creator of this downgrade tool, um, Twitter in here, he said that he pushed another update to Future Restore. This should finally fix segmentation fault issue. Right, so um, I'm going to see what we can do. But at first, in order to download it, you need to go in the description down below. And you also need Red Snow on some sorts, right? I'm going to show you why. Uh, the, uh, the files that are required in order to start to attempt this downgrade are in here. I'm going to, to get into them in a couple of seconds. But first, I do not recommend you to use this version for the moment. It's still extremely buggy, at least more buggy than Timstar and I expected. And uh, you should only try this if you have a spare device and so on. I just don't recommend you to try it. But if you really want to do that and if you really want to try it, I'm going to show you what are the combinations. But it's a little bit of the risk. Right, so uh, first you need to get your uh, basement fire file right here. You need to get your SEP for your device. These two files are in a firmware in an IPSW. You need to unpack it. Then you need to get your build manifest from the root of the IPSW and your blobs. In my case there are uh, three because there are three devices, but this one is for my iPhone uh, 6. Right, so how we do it? Well, you're going to need to, to gather a couple of things. I'm going to show you in the terminal. As I said, this will be a very quick video, so we're not going, getting in all the details. But if you drag the new version in here, you're, you're going to see that there are a couple of modifications. At first, on the previous version, you didn't see the version. But here it is, the version uh, 54. And there is a new configuration um, parameter, BBGCID. You're going to need, it, to need this. Right, so how is the configuration? Well, you need to, at first, write this BB. Sorry, BBGCID. And you need the Basement Gold Certificate ID. How are you going to get it? Well, you need Red Snow for that. Uh, Red Snow is available in the description down below. I never thought I'm going to use this uh, tool ever again, as it's deprecated, but it's still useful, as you can see. Well, if you open it, I'm going to put this in here. You can see it detected my Tempo Amp 1 device. I'm not going to restore it. I'm already on Tempo Amp 1. But anyways, I'm just going to show you how you need to, to get it. Go to Extras, even more Identify, make sure the device is powered on, and you will see a couple of things in here. And the most important of them is the uh, Basement Gold Certificate ID, which is this one in my case. It's Basement Gold Cert ID. Right, you need to, to get that thing. I'm going to get it. Okay. Okay, so I got the... Uh, the uh, numbers in here, and now we need to write T and get the uh, basement certificate, which is in here. Sorry, the SHSH. The basement is going to be with B, and it's this one, BBFW. Then we need a plist file, sorry, we need to write it in here, slash P, sorry, the uh, dash P. And the plist file is this one. Then we need the uh, SEP with S. You need to follow the exact parameters. Either way, you're getting a lot of errors. Now with M, you need to put again the build manifest, which is in here. Uh, and the final one would be uh, W and the IPSW itself, you need to restore too. Now, how you fix the segmentation fault? As you can see, if I'm going to do this, it will bring me the segmentation fault, segmentation fault 11. So what's the fix? You need to put your iPhone in recovery mode. I'm going to put my iPhone in recovery mode right now. 
to show you. If you put it in a recovery mode, it will fix this error, but you might get another errors. So this is why I recommend you to skip this version and not to try it right now. I'm just showing this for those of you who really want to risk. So um, yeah, I connected my device already in uh, recovery mode. So let's see if we get the same error. Nope, as you can see, we no longer get the same error, but I personally get baseband firmware isn't signed issue. So if you go to Tim Starr's profile in here on Twitter, he also have a fix for that. So here, okay, for the basement not signed bug, I added an option BBC uh, GID. Well, but it seems not to, to be recognizing it because as you can see, we already specified that manually set BBGCID but unfortunately it wasn't recognized in here. So this is where I get stuck. Now you can try this yourself and maybe for you it works. For me for the moment it doesn't work and the author of the application knows it doesn't work and um, he knows that there are a couple of bugs in here. He said right here that I'm sorry future restore being that buggy. I didn't expect that. I'll fix that next year. Well he meant in a couple of days. Uh, because this post was 20 uh, hours ago, right? So this is where I managed to get for the moment This is the correct combination you need to apply if you want to try it And this is how you find your BB GCID or the basement goal certificate ID if you want to try this The new version is available in the description as well as um, Red Snow Again, I do not recommend you to use it and I do not recommend you to try this. But if you really want to do this, it's your uh, own decision. You do it at your own risk. As he said, uh, to be honest, you should not try to restore it with crazy workarounds. These are workarounds. So my suggestion would be to wait for a stable release and yeah. But if you really want, you can watch this video to see how it works, to see how uh, the, um, the actual restore goes. In this video, he shows everything you need to know and would be, uh, would be great if you can check it out or you can get more info about the uh, downgrading process by watching the, um, the talk video he held at 33C3. Right, so this is it guys, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, I'm going to keep you updated on everything that changes in this downgrade application. But till the next time, do not forget stay safe, do not do crazy things with your um, downgrades because you might end up breaking your device, which is not good. And this is how you fix the segmentation fault, maybe it can help you. Peace out.